What's going on everybody? Andrew coming to you from the Renegade Garage. And behind me, right there, you can see a boat trailer. We worked on this boat trailer back in April and it's set in the corner of the shop for the last three months. And what we're doing today, if I can get it in the camera, there it is. You can see there's an axle. We're going to set an axle on this trailer today. Before we get into today's video, there are two links in the description box below to my Teespring account where you can pick up t-shirts like the one I'm wearing here and like this one here. If you want to help the channel out, click that link, go over there and buy a t-shirt. All the profits that I make off of t-shirts go back into the channel. Thanks for watching and let's get back to today's video. Before we can set this axle, the first thing we got to do is we got these pieces of angle iron. This is 3 16 thick. I believe it's two by two angle iron. And on the side of the trailer right here, you got a piece of quarter inch that someone welded on back when they built this trailer. So what I have done is I cut out a section right here for this thing to fit into. This thing will slide right inside there, like that. I got three more of these pieces of angle iron already cut. So what I'm gonna do now is take my angle grinder with a cutoff wheel on it Come over here, cut this section out, and go on the other side, and cut them two sections out. And then these things will be ready to weld in. Side of my trailer here I got my two spots cut out this one was already cut out the front one was and what I did was I marked the center line on my piece of angle iron and then I marked a one on it so I can mark a one on here and I got a two marked on here and a two marked on here so I don't get these pieces of angle iron mixed up because even though they're pretty much the same thing they are cut for each individual spot so I want to keep them in the same area so I got these ones cut in they're sitting in there pretty nice I'm pretty much happy with it. And then I came back through with a flat disc on my grinding wheel and cleaned off all the paint. So these things are ready to be tack welded in. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna grab our welder. I got a Hobart Handler 140 right behind me. Hook this thing up. We're gonna come through and tack all four of these in. We're gonna come up here to the front and I got my tongue installed. And I decided to bolt it on instead of welding it on because it's galvanized and galvanized is not the best to use the weld. So I went with some grade 8 half inch bolts. I got four of them in there and you can see I got a hole here and a hole here. I still got two more bolts to put in. They're both going to be half inch also. I uh, put some lock washers on those bad boys and then torqued them down to about 100 foot pounds. This one here isn't tight yet. I still got to put a lock washer on that one. Um, but put a lock washer on that one and them two and this tongue is pretty much done. So back to my two pieces of angle iron or my four pieces of angle iron. They are all welded on. I went ahead, tacked them, got them all straightened up, set the axle on them, made sure everything was looking really good and then came around and welded them all the way around, top sides, back side, everything. They are done, and now we're going to set the axle on. Or what we're actually going to do is put the um, spring hangers, set them on, 
get them tack welded into place and then get the axle set in to see what it looks like. On my trailer, as you can see, the axle is sitting in place on the trailer. And on the front two hangers, you can see that it's welded front and rear on both sides. So the front hangers are welded in. Now if we move to the back over here, I just got the back tacked in place right now. And I got the other side also tacked in place, but it's not welded. And I got this thing basically sitting where it needs to be, and we're just about ready to weld these rear hangers on. So everything is set up the way I want it, everything is set in the way I want it, everything is square on the trailer, and everything is pretty good to go. So, what I'm going to have to do is take this axle off right now, weld those two rear hangers once they're welded, then we can go ahead and bolt this axle on for good. Okay guys, that's going to do it. As you can see, the axle is sitting in place. It's not bolted in, and I didn't bolt it in because i got to come back through and i got to primer everything yet, and i got also got to paint everything. So there's no use in bolting it in, have to take it back off just to primer and paint it. We'll get it primered, we'll get it painted, we'll get them that axle bolted in, and it'll be good to go. Next thing we got to do is get some spindles and some wheels and tires for it, and this thing is about 90% done. So anyways, like I said, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Go into the comment section. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you did on different on this build. Like this video. Share this video. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for my t-shirts. Also my Amazon links in the description below. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you in another video.